Today we're making a drink that looks nothing like this, but it ends up looking like this because we tried to fix it but failed. <laughs> well, welcome to Comic Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Sommer, and I've got with me that guy. That's Ian Andrews. You might have seen him before because he's on the show like every week. Yeah, pretty much. He's like. Uh, the today host. we're making the Sex in the Driveway sponsored by Zachary Kearns. Yep, he's our producer. Sponsored, Sponsor, whatever. Producer. Whatever. It's the same thing. Uh, um, words mixed up sometimes. This was submitted by our friend Jay Spikes. The recipe is What's the two recipe? ounces of light rum. We're using Bacardi Superior. She's just now figuring out by tipping it. It's like, I don't even know what this is. No, just, Derek picked this one up. Yeah, Derek picked it up. Yeah. And we it says uh, an ounce of parish ounce. We have the Zante. Yeah. I didn't even know it was a parallel, to be honest with you. Oh. An ounce of blue curacao we're using, of course, in your curacao. Yep. Four of ounces course. of lemon lime soda. We we're using, of course, some Sprite. Sprite. Garnish with a lemon wheel. Basically, I'm going to build it all in a highball glass, stir it, and that's it. Yeah! Easy peasy. Simple squeezy. Um, this goes, this harkens back to some, some more, it's probably, wow. This is, <laughs> this is probably closer to something you would have seen on the show a couple of years ago. Oh, well, speaking of, uh, what? We also need to add the clear ice. We'll do so, that. So you, you did that first. You've been right doing here so the camera can see it all. Some cool stuff with ice. Yeah. So ice, ice is my ice. next my next project. The next horizon. Yeah, that's the next thing that you'll see coming out of the uh, the YouTube channel eventually. Yeah, as as uh, other, I just figure I'm gonna break the bottle top. See, look at that. You can't even see the ice. Yeah, it's awesome. It's gone. It's beautiful. Um. So so we're gonna talk about that at some point. The clear ice, right? Yeah. Clear ice for the white guy. No, it's it's simple to make once I got the right cooler. I've tried different things. I've tried make. I can make it in. I, I'll also go through different phases. I want to do clear ice with the Tavola cubes. I want to do clear ice bricks that you carve yourself, which is what we did. Right. Um, which tends clear to be the balls, too, right? Yep. And the clear ice balls tend to use the Tavolas as well, which we have. So I got all this stuff equipped. I made a Tavola uh, ice tray specifically for this, and. I just want to build like a little tutorial with different angles so everybody can see it and kind of go through it that way and show people cut it, how we cut it and everything. Um, and it's going to be pretty cool. I just need some time to produce that. So that'll be after in April's time frame when I have more time. Ooh. Looks like the You're going to have a lot more time in April. I know. Maybe. Coming up. I'll have a lot more focus time. I won't have any more time. No, no more time. I love how people, yeah, now I've, I've had um, brands and, and other people I've worked with say, oh, you're, uh, what, once you own your own business, you're going to be working a lot harder. I'm like, you don't know me very well. <laughs> like, I'm already doing all that stuff. I just do it from like 6 until 2 in the morning. Now I maybe I'll get an extra hour of sleep. Maybe that's going to be my thing. I don't know. Maybe. But. And you're going to be that much more productive after you do it. Right. And I, I can take some, <laughs> that ice is super awesome. Uh, and, and what a great drink for that with the blue. I know. I, I didn't even it's, think it's of that. It's a nice blue drink. I just like the fact that it was in that specific glass, but it is definitely blue. I also want to make it. That was that was embarrassing. Is that smooth. Um, the other video I want to do. Oh, I thought you were gonna hit me with <laughs> super hands wetness. Uh, the other video. No, don't. <laughs> no. Uh, my mind. The other video I want to do. This looks like the uh, Windex cocktail. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a beautiful looking drink. Beautiful drink. I don't know if it tastes good, but it's beautiful looking. Stir it. Um, that is not refreshing. Stir it a lot more. The other thing I want to do is I want to do a little well, tutorial on, on tempering. You <laughs> <laughs> that lemon did not want to be in this drink. It's like the second. Did that go across my white shirts? Mm -hmm. No, those are shirts. It went um, somewhere. You use a pear liqueur though and not a pear schnapps. Yeah. So pear schnapps would probably so be it's not sweeter. sweeter. Yeah. yeah. You get pear out of it. Too, yeah. It's just a little bit more bright. Um, Kevin's going after that lemon. Yeah. Good boy, good boy. So yeah. the, the, the other thing I wanted to do is a little te tutorial yeah, on both tempering. Um, the the wash the wa the the water that's sitting on the ice that you shake off, and I also mm. wanted to do like a side by side show somebody what happens when you temper it and put it into a into a glass of even chilled water, yeah. and, and and see the different snapping. I also wanted to do the the well, um, thing is you know when you temper it, just so you know it's like yeah. a sit and sweat because when you whenever you take ice right out of the freezer and you put it in a glass and you put some water on it, it cracks. Right, right? and then and if you had those clear ice. Crack, it would go snap, snap. Right. But it once it has the, the melt water, you want to do all that work to make the clear ice just to have it. Right. Put cracks around it. Yeah. Because it's cracked inside, so it's, you're going to see it. 
Um, the other thing is a lot of people, especially from monsterdrinks.com, people get I get mailed like, I will ha will this not break? My ice tray not break if I use this? If you have a plastic ice tray, we sell a couple of them. You can always break plastic. Yes. Let me. Uh, well, you, what you need is silicon, uh, silicon trays. Right. Like the Tavolo Perfect Cubes so that you can get it off the that for instance. Here's the issue. I don't have any trays around here. Hold on! Yeah, right there. Well, you got plastic or you got Tavolo? Because I got some plat silicone uh, shot glass molds over here. Yep, I could use some of those. Just showcase what I mean. Alright. What? Are, where, down there? Yeah, I put it over there. You put them in the drawer? Yeah, I put them in the drawer. Oh, those, yeah. The shot glass, I see yeah. what you're saying. So this is, we sell these, these are easy release ice cube trays. They're called easy release. So everybody's like, so it just works. No. It's easy release. It's easy, but you have to also be slightly smart about how you do it. Yeah. All right, here's the problem. People have no patience anymore, right? If you fill this with water, you freeze it up, they're frozen in here. Yes. Ice, frozen, right? So people will go, okay, well these must be guaranteed for life, Twist, snap, snap, they get all these things out. Some are probably still stuck in there. Things just broken into pieces. They're like, can I have more? And I'm like, sure. You know what? I've got all these sitting here that I just ship them on another one, right? And I'm like, now, be patient. Take your ice. Put it on the counter. It's small ice cubes. You can it's let that temper yeah. uh, two minutes, right? Just let it get a little sheen of water on it. Then, if you just take out, like, I would use either, like, a cloth or something to go like this, they're all going to fall out. Two minutes! What do you need to do that you can't wait two minutes? Break. These, that's cooler. Yeah. It's so, easier because so you don't have to These twists, they, they crush up. It's, it's all silicone, freezes, nothing sticks to it. Right. I, I actually have one of these and I turn it inside out to make really big ice cubes. Really? So it makes kind of like phallic ice cubes. Holy cow! You just fill it up like that that's and then you awesome. have like these huge dude, ice cubes. Dude, cool. you could you, you could like... Yep. If you made this with yep. clear ice, that's what. Right. If you poked a, a hole in the bottom of these, dude, that's a project. I'm gonna have to make that. Boom. Oh, but I don't See sell these anymore. Did. Huh? See what you just did. Yep, I gave him an idea. <laughs> yeah. So I, well, my work here is done. The the, the the deal with these though, and the Tavolo, we've already put them away, but yeah. when they're frozen, people don't have to have as much patience. So they right. just go jam, and if you put enough effort into it, you'll it's get the ice up. Yeah, it's absolutely. frustrating. Your hands you don't have to wait for it to temper. The thing that I but do is you I'll, can. I'll, I'll make them, I'll freeze them, I'll put it in a bag, and then I'll make some more. Because right. I, I make them ahead of time so I don't have to use them. But you can still temper ice absolutely. in uh, in a silicone ice tray. It you doesn't just, take long to temper. The bit, I mean, right. They come right out when you, you just go pop, 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 pop. If you want to temper these, they're probably going to take 5 10 minutes probably right. to temper. Because they're thicker. Because they're bigger. But yeah. it's not that bad. If you're going to make a drink, just take it out ahead of time instead of at the time. And you got, you know what? That's just pisses me off. So that's a little bit about ice, and we're gonna have an entire video on that. Yeah. The flavor for those that are the VSOP folks, this drink is not that good. <laughs> no, I mean you get blue curacao, you get the pear flavor, rum, but nothing really in it is like they're not working together in a team fashion to no. come out to get, make a good drink together. They're all trying to fight for their individual flavor profiles and it's yep. not so much work. Even if we had a pear schnapps, which is going to be sweeter. We would need sweeter, something sweeter, yeah. Right? But it's not sugar. No. So you're still going to have a battle. Well, and there's a um, simple syrup, lots of simple syrup in the fridge. There is, yeah. little... or, we can, or we can even use a juice. Juice, right. yeah, but then we gotta open the juice. Well, we have an open pineapple yeah. juice. Yeah, but that's gonna ruin the color of the drink. Yeah. It's pretty. It's just not that's good. Um, that good. Yeah. You know what? I estimate it. That's good. So, I, I if that this amount of sugar, be better. if it if it's perfect, then it sounds like we just need to use a sweeter product. Yeah. I still think that it needs two things. Just don't need the sour. I think. Yep. It doesn't have a sour in there. Mm -hmm. So it, it tastes the same, things. only sweeter. So the flavor profile hasn't really changed. No, it's actually slightly more uh, watery, da watered down a little bit, tasting. You lose a little bit of the pear. There you go. Um, You're going to make it a whole new drink. Yeah. <laughs> it, you don't even... It, it's, just, it's like the Windex cocktail. It's probably the same thing. Um, you need acidity in this drink. The idea of saying, yeah, let's add to. citrus by putting in a sweet soda is great for topping the drink or making it effervescent, light, and refreshing in a way. But if you don't have any fleshy 
actual citrus flavor. It's more balanced. I still don't like the flavor though. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And no, it's it's a light, a little bit more refreshing, but it's just too there. It's like it's still got a weird flavor. It's got a cool look. I mean, the the cool thing about this drink is it's a vibrant blue with the clear ice. It looks awesome. It right. looks it looks like it something you get at a trendy bar, but right. not a craft cocktail. The bar. thing is, when you put the juice in there, you're now getting floaties, which don't look as good. Yeah, you get the um, yeah, opacity to it. Yeah, I don't think I, I I'd rather have a drink that tastes better than a drink that tastes poor. And looks awesome. Yeah. And I mean, this still looks cool. Like, that is a, that would be This is a fish a, bowl cocktail. Okay. That's what it looks like. Yeah, and it has all those ingredients in it except for pear. I'm going to take it from the top. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting better every time we add something to it, I think. It tastes a little bit more like fish bowl. You throw yeah. some, uh, this coconut needs ramen. runts. Coconut, coconut rum and some runts and some yeah. Swedish fish. You'd be good to go. Yeah. Go watch our fishbowl video. It was a very popular video for it a long is. time. And I think the right the right answer here is just don't make this. Well, you know, make the drink so you can experience it for yourself. Maybe we're wrong and we've matured too much on our on our flavor profile. What did the lemon do? I missed it. Oh, we had pineapple juice. I thought yeah, but I thought you added lemon too. We did. It balanced it out, but the flavor yeah, the, profile the, wasn't the, as good. The lemon still... brought it up, but it, it's it's just not. And I know you don't have to balance the crab out of everything, no. but at the same time, when a drink is so far off balance, you have to come up with you something, do something to do. To it, yeah. Well, the flavors have to work together. As more I don't even know if pear and citrus are a thing. I, I, I don't know. know. My flavor bible's upstairs. The, yeah, they might be. I mean, it's it's a tree fruit. Maybe it's in the same family. Just not. Know. In this, just it's, not here. It, it could also be that there's two ounces of rum playing against the pear and the, and the blue curacao, which is a higher profile. You know, if you went all ghetto ingredients, maybe it would be okay, but I, I don't, I, I don't think so. I think this drink, it's called Sex in the Driveway, right? It's, it's got, it's got, it's, it's working towards something different. Yeah. The 80s. It, it's going yeah. all 80s. Sugar forward, lots of alcohol. Different demographic. Not probably. worried about, yeah, it's college. Got to get the color. Got to get the bright. Oh, gotta what is that guy alcohol. on that table order? I want that drink because he's over there smiling and he's got a drink that's bright blue. Yeah. Bright blue makes me smile. <laughs> See? Question of the day. Does bright blue make you smile? Um, no, seriously, a good question. <laughs> I, I don't, okay. I have a question of the day. What's the last bad balanced cocktail you had at a, at a bar? What's the last bad balanced cocktail you had in a Poorly balanced cocktail. The second question, uh, unrelated but also self-serving. <laughs> Do you like retro video games and have you subscribed <laughs> to my son's retro video game channel, RetroQuest, yet? RetroQuest. And I put I it right here. I have two, three times, four times. You gotta get up to 100 so you can... Uh, I did. Yeah, well, we're at 105, but you know what? Nice. Google still has given me the... No they have to give you a notification that says, Hey, would you like to name your channel? Ah, uh, okay. And then they tell you what it's gonna be. And then you can change it. No. No. Oh, okay. No, you can either have that permanently and never have that be able to change, or don't accept it and just never have one. Oh, well, that's silly. It's very weird, but I guess that's how you control your your system. Oh, Google. So um, there's your second question. Go yeah. and what's today? Tuesday, Wednesday. Go to Patreon.com/slash/TMC and help this guy eat. <laughs> Full timer right here. And feed his family. I've already paid my first uh, one thousand dollar check to my healthcare service provider. $1,119. Yeah, you're going to be a guest player on RetroQuest. Anytime. Guest player. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he just turned out. I was like, that's going to happen. I'll, you guys will be playing. I'll just, I'll tag in. I'll yeah. sub in. I'll be like, let me take this over for you. I got I this. There are times where we need a sub in. I got like, this. How many times we, I just, I haven't posted yet. It's fully, it's done. I just could put the end card on it. But we played yeah. Uh, Zelda. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, I had such a hard time in level three for some reason. I could have tagged in. I know. I used, I used to do that. Uh, so when I was growing up, and like, did you go raid school. all the things for items and then go in all heart containers? Go ahead. Oh yeah, I used to. But uh, like, I had a friend back in middle school, high school, and I'd go over, spend the night at his place, and we'd play Mega Man. And like, one of us was really good at the bosses, and one of us was really good at the levels. Yeah, I mean, Doug so like, he really was really good at the levels. I was good at the bosses, so he'd do the levels, I'd do the bosses, or vice versa. But you, you probably also have those times where Which you got so frustrated yeah. that you want to rage quit and hand it to him. Yeah. And, yeah. and now you can go grab some water, maybe pee. Cool down a little bit. Yeah, you cool yeah. down, you watch him play, you sit on the couch, and you root him on, you beast level, and then he's like, he, you know, he hands it back to you, and you're, exactly. you're calm. That's fun, yeah. I, I try to explain to him, because he'll, he'll get frustrated. The uh, great thing about the old school video games that you don't get anymore is two-player stuff. Right. You play now yeah. on Xbox One, PS4, it's all one player over the network without multiplayer. Yeah. Right. You don't get to sit next to somebody and talk poop and, like, play games anymore. Right. Welcome, David. 
What is we? That was a double. Oh. SKD was to see Derek versus Ian in Street Fighter Two. Oh, I love Street Fighter Two. Do that. Oh, we could do that. The only thing, the so only thing I, I I put I'd in the show. I have to practice a little bit though. I gotta get ramped up. Um, I've only played the latest ones on Xbox One, so oh, okay. I mean, those are old. Uh, the only thing that would make Street Fighter Two difficult, and we'll just have to put something the controller? in. Controller. No, the controller's okay. I, we got controllers. Oh, okay. No, it's the uh, swearing portion. I, I try to oh. keep the show PG. Oh, or yeah. G T what is that? everybody E yeah. for everybody but I could just put some some stuff in something happening because you'd have to put a lot of <laughs> if I'm playing a two player fighting game yeah. you wouldn't even hear me talk <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem I'd be talking so much poop yeah well that's okay <laughs> alright I try to I try to I do my best. He, he, he tries. I just do the little like bleep, like I, I want to put right in the mouth hole. Yeah. <laughs> but I just kicked your nose. I, well, no, I want to get some like sounds, like you know, some old eight bit sounds, like bleep, bleep. something happening, yeah. and you just put that and then blur around the mouth. Or right. I like when they do the TV and they make it sound, say something that's totally oh, obvious that they're not saying. That. Holy shoot! Yeah, yeah. They're not even like. Yeah. I'm gonna kick you in the doorknob. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> no, that's what the fudge are you doing? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is that a Falcon Academy. reference? No, I don't know why I came up with that. Okay. It's literally on the with his enveloping of the doorknob. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're done. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs> this. Yeah, in this straw. Yeah. Work very well that way. I I'm a huge fan of big obnoxious garnishes. I love the way that that looks. I think it's a beautiful color drink. It is I'm guessing it's going to taste good. It seems similar to something we made in the past. Yep. And I just tasted it.